So a little while ago, you guys would have seen that we've had various problems with Facebook. We were locked out of Facebook, both on my mobile phone and on my browser, my computer. And the, the, the main problem was that the computer was asking me to go on my mobile app to get a code and I couldn't get in the mobile app and then my mobile app was asking me to go on the computer. Absolute loophole of just trauma. We tried various times to contact Facebook down the usual routes of emails, um, the help kind of section they've got in there, nothing worked, nothing, I was getting no response. Uh, I was contacting them on socials, Twitter, Instagram, zero response and it was at the point where I even went to a company in Altrincham um, and they tried to help me contact Facebook in which we managed to get onto them through a chat that they have because they do a lot of work with Facebook and even on the chat they were referring us to this help section that wasn't working so this huge huge loophole that was just it was causing me so much stress loss of sleep you, you won't believe um, because the worst thing about it was, in the background, we had Facebook ads running and it was costing me £500 a month and we couldn't turn them off. We went to the bank, we told them to stop all the, the, um, the, the money and the transactions going to Meta. They said that they did it. The next month, the money still came out. The bank couldn't understand why. Absolute carnage. It got to the point where I started writing letters to the head offices of Facebook. I started writing to the London head office. I was getting no response. I sent in total around 36 letters. Uh, I ended up getting a legal letter back from Facebook London saying, please stop contacting us. You need to contact the island office because it's the island office that looks after the UK and it's the London office that looks after the rest of Europe. So I started writing letters to the island office. Again, wrote multiple letters, guess what? With no response. There was only one thing left to do and that was head over ourselves to the head office, bang on the door, and try and get help. It was the only option we had left. It's half four in the morning. I'm waiting for Matt to arrive and um, then we're gonna get a taxi to the airport. Mark Zuckerberg, should've just emailed me back, man. Should've just emailed me back. Let's go, let's go. Is this us? Terminal three, Mark Zuckerberg, head office, we're going. <laughs> Morning, mate. Here we go, we have arrived. Manchester Airport. There's Matt with his camera. There he is. Check ins. Let's go. Check in. We're going. <laughs> gate and about to board so gonna board the gate gonna board the gate gonna board the plane next stop is double take tablets to fly or get drunk and uh, yeah I've got neither no beer and no tablets so let's hope that we're all right I'm coming through and ladies and yeah. gentlemen just thank oh, you to refuel the aircraft peace out see you on the other end okay we ask you to leave your seat belt and passengers at the same we're showing time we're going to wait 
So we're just making our way out of the airport. I've put a little thing on the stories as you've seen where uh, I've asked people if they think we're going to get help or not. There's a lot of doubters out there, but those who know me know that I will do everything I possibly can and more to get help. If it can be done, it will be done. And if it can't be done, We'll make as much noise as we can, but we can only do what we can do, but we're going to give it a go. If you don't know, you don't try. Right, if you don't know, you don't try, I said. What I meant was, if you don't try, you don't know. That's jet lag, that, because we're in <laughs> Ireland, we've got loads of jet lag. Jet lag. So, Meta head office. Facebook head office. Do you know where that is? Why not? Yeah. Is Mark Zuckerberg in today? just drove past Meta head office, looked through the door and it's literally full of security. We might have come all this way and not even get through the front door yet. So guys, keep following and stay tuned. We're gonna do our best, but it was hammered with security. Didn't expect that, but if there's a way, we'll find a way. What we're gonna have to do is because, like, like you say, I think initially, they don't wanna know that there's any cameras there or that we're recording anything. I think firstly, I go in, just on my own. Obviously, I've got it recording. You can hear the thing. Yeah, I'm you can gonna, sit opposite. I'm, I'm just going to kind of either be yeah, yeah. there or on the other side of the street. Yeah, yeah, so it's not on top. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll, I'll go in and then um, do the nicely, nicely approach. And if that doesn't work, then um, we'll obviously just have to maybe turn the heat up a little bit. Not aggressively or anything like that. Just, you know, we need to see somebody. Right, you need to stand back. This is it. Or, or you walk behind me, yeah? Right, mate. Coming in. Should I put my thingy on? My audio on my phone? Oh, fuck it. Mate, he's watching you. you don't do customer service all the customer service um, emails everything and i'm getting zero contact back so it asked me for my two-factor authentication code so but it hadn't but hold on it hadn't linked to the authenticator app so i'm not getting any codes so when i then go and follow your help and your hacked and all that that says do let's have, do you have your facebook thing on your, on your phone yes but it's kicked me out that's what i'm saying so just once there is a help thing just go there and i've done it i know that that's what i'm saying so yeah. there's yeah. there's not only you they're dealing with there's probably you are in the queue they'll get back to you whatever no, three it, months I see i know that people are here for six months yeah here for eight months a year but and but business accounts hacked. i know i'm not I'm hacked just, no, I'm just, I'm just saying there's loads yeah. of big things, issues even bigger than that happening. So the thing is, everyone, that's the procedure we only have. We only told that just give this. We have no other information. Yes, that we can but it doesn't that's work. Reason. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't it's work. Only, only I'm only. getting charged 500 pounds. Imagine I took 500 pounds out of your wages. Sorry? Imagine I took 500 pounds out of your wages every month. Like, and I, I need to speak to someone at Facebook whether it be a customer service email, whether it be a support email, yes. there must be something. It's, it's all online, we, we can't give you anything. <laughs> so what, what do we do? We only security, but we, Mate, we I've flown from Manchester because I'm getting zero help. I totally understand that. I really understand your frustration. Mate, so what, I don't know what to do then. What, what do we do? I, 
Do I just, I just let you take £500 a month? I don't understand. It's just, uh, whatever the concern is, just go and help yeah. and just deal with it. And I hope someone get back to you and just put on the hive. There is, there is, there is like, I don't know, probably... Uh, well, the people who are going to get back to me yeah. work here. Don't they? No, no. I'm they, they do. Yeah, I've, see, London have told it's me. Worldwide. It's worldwide. No, no, it isn't. No, so Ireland okay. look after UK waters. Who told you this? Lond your London office. Who, who, who was in London office? Okay, tell you. Show you. I've got a legal letter. Um, let's see if we can find it. See, that's all the protocols, procedure. You got an email, yeah? So follow that. And no, 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 yeah. No, but they, they've sent me an email from a, a legal email because I sent them 36 letters. All to, their, all to their head office in London and I told them that I was going to come to their office. Yeah. Uh, I need to find it, hold on. Um, oh, I can't bloody find it now. Can't find it. Yeah, whoever, the, the good thing is, whoever send you an email, you can talk to them by email or something, but the only thing here, you won't be able to see anybody. I know it's frustrating, I know. Yeah. That's, that's we're only the way that we, of just, just, if you're receiving an email, just go back to them. And well, that, that's, this is what I get when I try and contact support at Facebook, message not delivered. Yeah. It, it's, yeah, but it's not, it doesn't work. See, that's insane. Right, well, well, I've been told by London that the people who I need work here. It's, it's, so, it's, so what I'm gonna do, because I've, I've come all the way from Manchester, I've flown here just to come here. I've got 150 copies of that in my rucksack. I'm going to stand outside and every single person who walks in, I'm going to ask them if they can help me and I'm going to hand them a letter. Is that okay? Well, no, it's not okay. Why? It's not Why? No. You can't stop me doing it though. Well, we can't stop it. How? I'm just, it's just up to you. What do you yeah, think? yeah, no, and that, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm going it's to do. Like, that's what I'm saying. And then, nobody's going to help him. Nobody, just because they... Why? You know, Why wouldn't... It's worldwide. It's worldwide. Somebody, you, you don't hey, know I know what you're trying to tell me. Facebook's worldwide and this is one little yes, thing, yes. right? This office look after the UK. That's it. London look after the rest of Europe. That's what I'm saying. So you can't confirm it. I can't confirm. No, I can. I've been told by Facebook. So whoever you told, just get back to them. Did you get me? For you try and get back to them. They don't come back to you. So I sent I letters. That's what I'm saying, sir. I, right. I don't work for Obviously, I understand what you're saying. saying. We're, we're not getting anywhere. Well. I know that this office. I wouldn't have flown all the way here if the people didn't work yes, here. Yes. I totally appreciate you guys are security, yeah, just to the people who yes, work in yes, there. Yes. So what I'll do is I'm gonna stand outside. Is that okay? Post for my set, if not yeah. If you wanna do it, do your choice. Yeah, no, well, I've, I've got no choice. I'm getting billed 500 pound yes, a month. That's probably won't, I understand. Th these don't work, watch, watch this. Look, what, what do you want me to do with this? All right, this won't help me. It'll send me to a link where it'll say, follow all these things. It doesn't do anything. They'll just send me to the help, all cookies. How can we help you? I've been here a million times. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Just, just try it again and again. Or what is your Mate, it doesn't do anything. Say. Okay, so there's absolutely, obviously I don't want to take up your time and their time. There's absolutely nothing that you guys can do. That's not at all. Thing. Right, okay. I'll be out here if anybody needs me. You can keep that because it doesn't do anything. I'll put that back on that. Thank you. Right. Cheers, thank you. Right. Not helping me. Like at all? Nope. Just keeps sending me to the help. Well, there is no reception. That's just pure security. So um, basically they're not going to let me speak to anybody. They're not going to pass on anything. They've got no email to give me, no contact to give me, nothing. Right, so what we'll do is we'll stand outside and we'll have to ask people if they can help. So let's wait for the first person. But when I walk up to him, don't walk up to him with that camera like. Oh, no, you just no, stay no. from here and I'll just go over and ask yeah, if yeah. he can help. Right, we'll just wait here. I'm all the way from Manchester. People in Meta to, to if, they, if they, so that just explains my problem and then that's okay. my contact details. If you can help in any way, just email me and let me know. Okay. Just have a little read, that's all I ask. Okay. Thank you very much, cheers. Look, is he gonna take it off her? She's talking to him about it. Why, why is he doing that? Excuse me. Sorry, may, may I ask why you're taking the letter off the employee? Sorry. Well, 
security taking the letter off. What what are you to do? What are you to do? Do you know what I mean? He said he's got his I said why why are you taking the letter off the lady? He went, no, she passed it me. Why why are they just Do you know what I mean? I don't get it. Let's give this lady one. Excuse me, may I just give you one of these please? It's just a letter. Do you work in Meta? It's just a personal letter from myself. I'm just a business owner from Manchester. I uh, just got a slight problem. Um, if you can just read it, yeah. that's all I ask. And if you can help with anyone in Meta, I'd be grateful. It's just obviously with security, they won't oh, let me in. Right. Do, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I just said, if they don't mind, I'm just going to stand at the front and just, because I've wrote here quite a few times and no one's coming back to me. Okay. So all I can ask of you, just give it a little read. And if you can help me, my contact details are there. As I say, I've flown all the way from Manchester and, and I just need help and nobody's helping. Yeah, I just started um, yeah. three weeks ago. So oh, <laughs> just, yeah, have a read and if you know who to give it to or anyone can help, yeah. really appreciate that. Okay. Have a great Christmas, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. And nobody's coming back to me and I don't know what to do and I'm being charged 500 pound a month for business ads because I've been locked out of my account and I can't get in. So that just explains what's happened and my contact details are there. All I ask is that you read it and if you know anyone you can pass it on to. Jason, Jason. Yes, that's me. I'm the owner of the company. If you can help me in I'll, any way. I'll, I'll, I'll pass it on to the team to do look at it. And, Amazing. Uh, I hope have some success. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a great Christmas. Thank you. I'm not selling anything. Trust me. I've flown over from Manchester. I'm having major problems. I'm having, I've been locked out of my account and I'm having to pay £500 a month. I don't know how to fix it. I've tried contacting Meta multiple times. I've flown here today and obviously security won't let me through, of course, which I totally appreciate. So, so obviously I'm, I'm following people, trying to, get, um, trying to give them a letter and it's just double hard because they think I'm trying to sell them something. And then you get like, you know, they're all laughing and giggling around the corner. Like, oh, did you get away from him? Um, but yeah, there's not much more I can do. The Irish are meant to be helpful and happy. Come on. So the last person I just spoke to basically just said that security in the building are telling everyone who's coming out not to talk to us, which is really weird because, um, yeah, we've, yeah we've, we're being nice, like all we're trying to do is get help, like very strange, very odd. Right guys, get on this. So Meta just locked the front doors and are sending people around to another secret side exit. So here, here it is. So they're actually stopping people coming out for us to give letters to, but they gave us permission to do it, so it was well weird. So here we are at the other entrance, but they're now directing people to, so we'll give it half an hour here as well. But I just want to say, like I say, to those people who have genuinely um, stopped and spoke to us, amazing, lovely people. Um, this seems to be a bit of a game of security. It's nothing to do with the people who work there. Um, it's just security doing what they're doing. But we've not aggravated, we've not done anything other than do what they gave us permission to do. So we'll just keep doing it for the next half an hour and we're done. I've come all the way from Manchester. I don't know what else I can do. I've, yeah. I've tried everything. Right, interesting. So we have just had the head of security come out. Um, basically what was happening is we were around the front, they closed the front, so we come round the back, and now they've closed the back. So we went back round the front, so they closed the front, um, and then we stood on the corner, so we could see which way they were coming from, and then we could um, obviously get the people sort of halfway around the building. So head of security has now been out, um, he's took our letter, and he's, you know, he's agreed to try and get it, you know, to somebody. Obviously, we know that's not what he's going to do, and we know he's just trying to get rid of us. Um, but what he said is, I promise you, I've spoke to my manager. They're going to send it somewhere, this, that, and the other. Um, he doesn't want no more disruption. He can't stop us doing what we're doing. Of course, it's it's a public footpath, and we're not causing any, you know, aggravation, nothing like that, intentionally. Uh, all we're trying to do is speak to people. What we've agreed to do, because we've, we, he doesn't know that, but we've got to go now anyway because of our flight. But we said we'll agree to go. Um, but we do need somebody to come back to us in the next couple of weeks. Um, and you know, if they don't, we'll be back again because it didn't cost that much to get here. And to be honest. 
we've spoke to some really good people and some really nice people as well who said they're going to try and help so i think we've probably i think we're going to be all right i think someone's going to email us in the next couple of days especially them two people we met who were really really talkative and said they were going to help and praise us for coming out here and all the rest of it and um, so yeah it, what what madness facebook head office shut down by us today um we had it was like cat and mouse to be honest it was a bit mad um but yeah all is well right now we're gonna chat lips now we're gonna get the plane um and get back to the uk but we'll keep you guys posted with any progress on this facebook drama Here we are, back in the airport in Ireland. What do you think of Dublin? Lovely. I absolutely loved it. Didn't see much of it. Um, but yeah, so to summarise, it's not over yet. We've got some good leads now, some great people outside that uh, head office who were really helpful. So uh, really looking forward to hopefully hearing from them. And yeah, that's it. Back to Manchester now. And we'll keep you posted, of course, if there's any updates, if we hear from anybody. Um, but the saga continues, because right now we're still locked out. We're still going to get onto our bank and try and stop the payments, but we still need to get access to the accounts. So, yeah, keep you posted. Um, so it's like eight o'clock now. Um, I've probably been home for about half an hour or so. I'm absolutely knackered. Um, but Jay has literally just sent me a message saying, give him a call. Um, so yeah, here we are. Let's, let's give him a call. Hi mate. Hey, you alright? You said to ring? Yeah, mate. Check your emails, mate. I can't believe it. I'm sat here, right? I'm watching telly, and the next thing, bing, email. Mate, it's not even been 24 hours. The, the actual night, I can't even believe I've just got this email. We've done it. We've done it, mate. We've fucking got someone from Facebook, and they've emailed us. They are ready to help us out. They listened. Oh, my God. The office. And they listen, man. Can't believe it. Check your emails, mate. Check your emails. Mate, no way. As if. As if. Smashed it, mate. We smashed it. Right. Boom. Sweet. Got it. Right. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow because we need to get this wrapped up, edited, and get it out to the people to show people you think you're too small to have an impact. Try going to sleep with a mosquito in the room. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'll catch you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. So you guys now know the result of what happened flying over to Ireland and literally banging on the door. In fact, we shut the doors down. They closed the doors, they locked the doors. Um, great experience. Uh, quite funny to, to be in the moment and be there. But ultimately, we got the job done and... Yeah, we're now back on Facebook, we've got full access to everything and we're back in control. So whoever that was that we handed a letter to that went back into that office, that helped us. If you're watching this, please get in touch. We would like to thank you personally. Um, but if you don't get in touch, look, thank you so, so much. Massive, massive help. Um, not sure what's going to happen on the back of this. Uh, I imagine they might have loads of people now going over and flying over to Facebook and having loads of people outside the offices with banners and all sorts. God knows. But we JFDI'd it. We just fucking did it. We took it into our own hands and ultimately we got the outcome we wanted. So thank you for watching. Please, 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 please share. Tag the papers in this. Tag the media in this. We want to try and get this story out as much as possible. We think it's a great story of how... A tiny, tiny, tiny business can have such a big impact um, by taking certain action. So I will leave you with this phrase that I've used in business quite a lot. Think you're too small to have an impact? Try going to sleep with a mosquito in the room. Thank you very much. Roll on the next video.